Apologies, I'm not doing a video in a while, but um, when I've been free, the weather's not been good, and as you can probably hear now, it's raining. I was planning on doing a crossbow video today, but seeing as the weather's really wet, obviously that's not going to be practical. So I thought I'd do a video on what sort of modern gas masks or respirators would, would be good for a civilian. I mean, it will vary a bit depending on what country you're on, depends on what you can get in your surplus easily. But these are sort of the modern design masks and I'll sort of have a talk about them and say which I think's best. Um, so on the far left we've got the Israeli masks, at the top there's the M15 which is the IDF military mask and then underneath we've got the civilian mask, there is a number for that but I've forgotten it but that's just essentially the civilian mask. Um, all of them except the GSR second from right are 40mm um, filter masks. Next to right we have the uh, Avon S10 at top, which is the old British Army gas mask, and below we have the CT12. And the CT12 and FM12 were sort of civilian or armed police versions of the mask made where the S10 wouldn't have been suitable. Um, in my opinion the um, CT12 is a much better mask than the S10, but I'll talk more about that later. Um, then we have the GSR. Uh, GSR's um, a very nice mask, it does pretty much everything the S10 does but it's got a nicer field of view and it uses these interesting filters uh, but a lot of people don't really like the GSR because they sort of have um, complaints about the build quality of it and I can kind of see what they mean, it feels like if you knocked it too hard you could break it which is obviously not something you want in a um, chemical situation Okay, and then on the far right we have the, um, the Belgian BM4GP, which is now known essentially as the Belgian Riot Mask. And these were some masks that were sold to, or Belgium essentially made for their military, but then they ended up selling them as Riot Masks as surplus because they wanted to cut them on the deal, so they all started buying S10s or something. So, um,. In my personal opinion, I think a military mask would be better than a civilian mask for um, civilians' use in an NBC, NBC scenario, simply because most military masks offer better fields of view and more comfortable for wearing for longer, and the rubber's normally slightly thicker. Um, so I'd ruled out the Israeli civilian mask, but it's certainly not a bad mask. You can see the Israeli M15 mask above it has triangular lenses, which are actually offer much better fields of view, especially when they're that size. Um, with the Avon masks, I find the CT12 personally I like better, the field of view is better. The main thing I like is it's more comfortable with that different mould shape on it, although they're both the same size. The thing I really like about the CT12 is that it's got elastic straps rather than rubber straps, so it's easier to adjust them and they're more comfortable. GSR I like quite a lot, but as people have complained about the build quality, I can kind of see the problem with that. My main issue of the GSR is these bayonet type filters it uses because they're not going to be easy to get a lot on the civilian market. I have a spare open pack which I'm keeping sealed in case of an emergency but um, as said they're not as practical as 40 millimeters. Then the BM 4GP on the right, very good mask, I like it a lot. Not my favourite, I say out of all of these the CT12 is probably my favourite. but. Um, it's still not a bad mask, very good field of view. What's interesting on that is you can twist the filter intake to the left, to the right or below, so you can get it to work with pretty much whatever you're wearing. And they're all, um, these are all good masks, I mean they're all very reliable good masks. But personally I choose the CT12. Um, but obviously it depends on what you can find in your area. And the good thing of all these masks is you shouldn't, except for the GSR, you should be able to find them below about forty pounds, thirty pounds. Um, and all of them are good masks. Obviously, you want to get them as new as possible, though that won't make a huge difference in the protection they offer. But the CT12, in my opinion, is the best one there. And all of the others are very good. The Israeli M15 is quite good now. I've got the straps adjusted because it's quite comfortable and offers a good field of view. But um, all of these are good masks and they're not too hard to find.